Come along, children. We'll sort this out. Jason, you'll have to move faster. Push! If you don't stand up for yourself, you'll never be a cellist. Don't do that, Stephanie. A flute is an instrument of music, not meant to torture your brother with. Hey! I don't know who you are. You move! Okay, move the piano as well. You. Yes, you. The bald guy. Are you a teacher? You're a... For computers? Sorry, I just thought you maybe conducted electricity. Maybe you could help. Jason, come here, Jason. This is my Stephanie, and Jason, Jason, come here. We'll move it. Mr. Conductor, I'm sorry. What's your name? Mark? Michael? Maud? No, no, Mr. Conductor. Nothing wrong with Maud or any of those names. Stephanie! Mr. Conductor, my Stephanie is ambitious. She wants, well, all girls want to be a star. Yes, that's a flute. No, no, Maud's okay, but it's my wife's mother's name. I don't know Claude at all. My, my Stephanie, Jason! Stephanie, would you play the flute, please, for the teacher, Mr. Conductor? Yeah, the flute, thank you, like we practiced. No, not like that, like we practiced. Well, where's the, where's the piece? You need that piece, don't you? How do you expect to play? It's a flute. It doesn't blow by itself. Jason, oh, so what? Swallowed it? But, but I, yes, I saw that you were walking funny, but I... This isn't going to impress Mr. Conductor at all. I just assumed that it was your mother's cooking. I... <laughs> Mr. Conductor, could you take a look at Jason? Yes, he's... It's, uh, the violin, the violin. Yes, he's... He, he wants to be a cellist. He's going to be a cellist, but uh, for the moment we're practicing him on the violin. Yes. Uh, yeah, it, it stance is a little bit funny, but um, that's we'll, we'll correct that when he takes up the cello. It's his mother's cooking. Yes, I like what Stephanie's doing here. It's um, it's a bit like a ballad, but it could also be classical. Look, I've got a bone to pick with you. I, I, I can't have you saying this to my children. Maybe you don't realize what it is that you've been saying. Mr. Conductor, have I got your attention? Good, because I didn't think so from... Uh, yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, look, it's about Jason, my boy. Yes, he is a violinist. He's going to be a chunk. Yes, that's right, yes. Well... He, he was talking about becoming a, 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 a cellist. Um, he's playing the violin at the moment. He, he's ambitious. He wants to be promoted. And, and, um, he was, and he was asked if he was sick, if he wasn't feeling very well. Do you really think in this day and age it's appropriate to tell a child that if they sleep for a couple of years they can make it to the top of their profession? Do you really think that's appropriate? No, Mr. Conductor, Mr. Conductor, no, no, I'm not happy. Look, I, I brought my children here. I pay good money. Yes, I understand that you're a volunteer. I, do you think I volunteered for this? I, do you think I spent my life, you know, I spend my time asleep at night thinking of what I'm going to do, how my children will suddenly become talented? It's not easy for me either. No, I just expect, I just thought that perhaps you've done something. Don't you know anything about raising children? I don't think you are qualified to run a school concert. I don't even think you're qualified to run a preschool concert. I cannot believe this. This is absolutely hopeless. It's like you didn't even expect people to come here. What are my children to do? Mr. Conductor, one day you're going to hear my Jason and my Stephanie playing in a rock band, and you will be sorry.